Hello, I'm Adia Depitan and I grew up in the UK where I had a great education and an opportunity to become a Paralympic athlete and TV presenter. And today, I'm going back to my primary school to say thank you. For me, it's really exciting to come back here. And one thing that will always stick with me is the fact that the teachers always said to me that I could achieve absolutely anything that I wanted to. Why have you got a wheelchair? I got polio when I was 15 months um, in, in Nigeria. If I'd grown up in Nigeria, my life would have been completely different. I've got an opportunity to travel all over the world and I've seen how difficult it is for other children to go to school and it makes me look back at my time and realise how lucky I was to have such a good school. So this school changed my life, but for millions of children around the world, it's a different story. 57 million children around the world are not in school. Children with disabilities are missing out the most. It's estimated that 24 million children with disabilities are missing out on school. And that's more than the populations of London, Cardiff, Birmingham, Manchester, Liverpool, Glasgow and Belfast combined. Now 11 year old Lucy is from Kenya and like millions of children with disabilities, she's never been to school. I fell sick and was taken to hospital and then brought back home. I have a disability as a result of suffering from polio. My right leg is affected and cannot straighten, but the left is okay. Lucy has eight brothers who have all been to school. She would love to go to school, but because of her disability, she's not able to get there. I would really like my child to go to school so that she can depend on herself in the future. And even if Lucy could get to school, her mother wonders if Lucy would get the support she needs to be able to learn. My friends go to school and I stay at home. I wish I could go to school to learn. And after finishing school, I would help my mother and become a teacher or a doctor. It's truly shocking that one in three children around the world who don't go to school have a disability. For millions of children in developing countries, going to school may involve travelling long distances and there's no special transport available for most children with disabilities. If children do make it to school, they often don't have the right facilities to help them. There may be no sign language interpreters for children who are deaf or even the right teaching materials for children who are visually impaired. And some schools don't have ramps or lifts to make it easier to get around for children who are unable to walk, like me. Back in the year 2000, world leaders promised to get all children a primary education by 2015. Now, a lot has been achieved since then, and the number of children out of school has actually halved. But that still leaves 57 million children without an education, and with a third of these children with disabilities. Last year, you did an amazing job for the Send My Friend to School campaign. Half a million of you took part and got the message to nearly every MP in the UK. They in turn took your messages to our Prime Minister and Government. This year, we are calling on world leaders to send all my friends to school. It's just not fair. In the UK, I get an education. In many other countries, children don't. So we would like you to get really creative. Use words, colours, shapes to bring alive our buddies who represent all the children worldwide who are missing out on school. We need to give everyone a primary education. They're really passionate about this project and coming up with some really amazing things. What powerful slogans and facts can you include on yours? World leaders made a promise to get all the children to school and they need to keep their promise. Now cut out your buddies. On their own, they look great and will say so much. But why not join them to others to make the biggest chain of buddies 
ever. By making these buddies, they make sure children's voices around the world are heard for other children. We really need your help. And don't forget, by the end of the summer term, we want to make sure that every single MP has heard about this issue or seen your buddy chains. It's really important that you are able to get your message across to every MP. You know how important it is to be at school and every child has the right to be at school. Please make sure that your voice is heard and we need to make sure that we listen. I'm supporting the Send All My Friends to School campaign because education is the fundamental human right of every child. And if world leaders are serious about getting every child an education by 2015, they need to prioritise the needs of children with disabilities now. So join me in supporting... Send all my friends to school. Send all my friends to school. Send all my friends to school.